guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Luke, your nurse, right here. And I'm back, y'all, with another video. I wanted to share some of the things that I got in my BoxyCharm box. Some of it, I didn't use all of it, but I did use quite a bit of it. I did use the Storybook palette today. Yes, I like it. I like it. I used the water cream. I don't know. I don't remember if I used this mist. We're going to spray it right now. Oh, yeah, I did use it. I did use it. I remember after I started spraying it that I did use it. I used the lipstick. Um, I pre I even used the eye warming mat pads. They still warm. Oh, I don't know how long they're gonna stay warm, but I would have went to sleep with them. They still warm. Put them back on tonight when I leave the movies. Um, I used the lipstick. I used a lot of stuff in here, and then some new stuff because I had picked up some of these uh, NYX. Uh, Sweet Cheeks blushes, and I picked up a few of the pencils, and yeah, I just want to get in here and do a quick, I guess, baby, get ready with me. I supposed to have been talking through the video because I had so much stuff I want to talk to y'all about, but I wasn't talking. I was doing too much stuff, too much of putting on makeup, but I'm still going to do a chatty book. We talk. We're going to talk about some stuff that I've been stressing on, probably somebody else stressing on too. We don't want to talk about it. Maybe we'll do it when you're ready to use the Natasha Denona palette that came in this month's box. But we, we'll do that soon. I'm working this weekend, so I'll try to get this video up. I hope y'all enjoy. How y'all think the look came out? Y'all know it's going to be rough watching me put it on. It's going to be a little challenging. So just hang in there with me, and we're going to come up real cute just like this. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Stay to the video coming up. Bye guys. Bye guys. I got a little bit of information to share with you before we jump into this video. Y'all gonna like. See, we talking too much. It paid off. I'm just saying. This clay dry deodorant that I've been raving about since I got it that I really like. Y'all know I was talking about in my boxy charm haul, right? I know. Let me get this out quick, right? Well, apparently they saw that video in my boxy charm haul that I really like this. In the comments, y'all comments too. I'm sure they read them. And they said, if you guys want to give this a try out, they sent a discount code. Nope, they didn't pay me the first time. They paid me the second time. They're not even paying me now. I really do like this. And get this. Y'all know I got to like it. Because they said, uh, the email said, hey, we saw your video. And, you know, basically that you still rambling about our stuff and it's good. How about I send you a 30% off discount code for your viewers so they can try it themselves. So y'all know I ain't lying. I'd be like, uh-uh, oh, I ain't gonna send them that because they ain't gonna buy 30% off of these like $7 each. <laughs> it's nurse 30, y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll put it in the description box. And uh yeah, you can get 30% off of it. I thought that was cool. I've never had a company to do that in all the years I've been on YouTube. I thought that was cool. Had to share it. On to the video, guys. Okay, guys. We're gonna get some of this stuff used in this box. You know what, y'all? I got my um, pop-up box stuff today, too. Finally, today it says, thank you for shopping boxy pop-up. I ordered the um, Kors, uh, what does this say? The toning solutioning, solutioning, the toning solution from Kors. This is $22 on Sephora. But I think I had it for fourteen or twelve dollars on Boxy Charm, but I know it's on sale for now for fourteen dollars. I got the J1 Jelly Pack, the red one, the uh, multitasking makeup gripping primer and anti-aging mask. I wanted the white one. I've been watching this. It's like forty dollars. The white one was like forty dollars on Sephora, but it was fourteen dollars on Boxy Pop Up, so I was glad to get it. And the last thing I got, I really went with a lot of cores because I tried cores and I really like them. So I got the Wild Rose Savage. Let me open it up so y'all can see it. There it is. It's a facial oil. It's got real little roses down in the bottom. That's neat. That's cool. That's cool. And this, I know this was 40 something dollars on Sephora. And, um, I was happy to see it because I've been having my eyes on it. I wanted to get it. I just like the little light real roses in the bottom. And it smells like roses. This might be 
a mistake or don't feel the oil y'all so it might be a mistake putting the oil on my face before foundation because y'all it's a struggle over here what I was oh, I've already did my moisturizers and stuff check out this bite beauty most of the stuff we use is gonna be out of this box not all of it but the majority this is a pretty good size this is going to last for a pretty good while. Pretty good long while. I'm going to be bougie because I'm on camera and I'm going to use the little spoon. <laughs> but when I'm not in front of y'all, I will not be using the spoon. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> It'll be right after I wash my face and cleanse it good. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty, pretty moisturizing. Okay, we're going to be using these starry eyes. These came in last month's Boxy Charm. This is the Indulgent Self Warming Eye Mask. So, before I even get started, I want to play with this and see what does it do. Your starry eye pop mask will soon start to warm up. And it says to leave them on for 20 minutes. So we're going to do that and see what they do. So I'll be back, y'all, in 20 minutes. Because ain't no point in me sitting here still talking and I can't see. <laughs> I can't see, y'all. So I'll be back in about 20 minutes. All right. Okay, y'all. We're going to go ahead and moisturize. This is the Sunday Riley Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier. Uh, water cream. That's what it says. We're going to moisturize with this. Now, while you're waiting on our moisturizer to go ahead and just dry and settle in, I'm going to go put on my brows, okay? Be right okay, back. I'm back. While I was doing my brows, the mailman came and he bought me this little bougie I ordered this from Octa, y'all. <laughs> this is the La Rouge Perfecto by Givenchy. Huh. Anyway, he delivered this. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and share this right now. Look how bougie that is. Y'all, it took me a minute to figure out, you know, was it a button to push? How do you open it? But it just opens like that. <laughs> really long and bougie. And this is heavy. Givenchy. It's a lip balm. All of that, but it's a lip balm. And it twists up like this. And you get a pretty good amount of product. You just do. I'm going to put this in my little uh, Louis Vuitton Crosby. I'm going to wash this off. I'm going to wipe it off. That agave lip mask. Kind of stiff. It's supposed to be a blue pink. Oh, yeah, okay. That'll be cool for every day. Going to the store, even going to work. Oh, that's cute. It's got a little color there. Okay, I like this. I might have to check these out. Looks like the longer I have it on, the darker it gets. To be a lip balm, that's some pretty good color. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, this is going in my little Crosby Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yes, that's cute. Okay, eyebrows are on, y'all. And I don't know which palette I want to use. The Natasha Denona of the Storybook palette from the Boxy Charm. Let's just do the storybook and we'll hold on to the Natasha Denona for later. I think I want to do use these colors right in here. Some reds versus, can y'all see that? Some reds versus some blues. I think I want to use these pinky red looking colors. That's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to use this little Sephora brush. Is this Sephora or Pro Crease? I guess, I don't know who brushes it. It just says Pro Crease. I'll go in with this shade, this top shade right here. Put that as my crease color. Well, I'm just using, how about a transition color? 
and I figure out what I'm going to use for a crease. Got to hold my head back, y'all, because these little uh, creases in these hooded eyes. Y'all know what I didn't do? I went straight in with shadow. I don't trust it. We're going to have to do this. You know what? I'm going to put it right on top. I'm going to go with this Anastasia Beverly Hills because I got faith. I got faith in this con this uh, eyeshadow primer. I do. I'm going to go right over it. I got to, y'all. I got to because I'm getting out the house. I'm going to the movies. Y'all know that's the only place I go. I don't know why y'all thought I was going to say I'm going anywhere else. Y'all ain't no drama. I go get my seat, watch my movie, enjoy my night off. Come home, pat the dog, feed him a little extra snacks, and I go to bed. <laughs> so, yes. Going to the, I'm looking at, I'm thinking I want to see 21 Bridges. I'm waiting for Jumanji to come out. That's what I'm really waiting on. I really want to see Jumanji. But I already bought my tickets. So I'm just waiting on it. Now let's go back over that again. I don't want my shadows to go nowhere. Even that's the only place I'm going. I want my shadows to stay. That stuff dries so fast too. Now we're going to just go in with this next shade right here. Get a good little bit of it on the brush. Put that right up under there. These are pretty good shadows. Y'all see that color? It's real. Let me use my little color switch. I just want to get my brush a little bit clean so I can go over those two colors and get them to kind of blend in with the top of my lid. Right up under the brow. Just want it to be a little smooth, simple transition. I'm going to try this wood. This, what is it, a woodland? I'm going to try that woodland shade and see if that will help me with that transition. Yeah, that's better. Let me get a smaller brush. I guess I'll be bad and bougie and use my little uh, Sonya G. I don't know what brush, but it's Sonya G. I don't know which one it is. And I want to use this dark shade right here. Get in the camera so they can see too. This one right here. And I'm going to use that to... I'm going to try to cut my crease with it. Not really. But I'm going to darken my crease up with it. How about that? Not really cut it. But just darken it up. These are some good shadows. Now I really wish I would have got that red one. Or the green one. Either one of the storybook ones. I was hoping they would be in the uh not only the charm shop, but I was hoping I could have got it, you know, as one of the palettes that would be for sale. But it wasn't those ace beauty palettes that's coming in next month's box those are the ones that are up for grabs and i got enough little palettes like those if you got boxy charm now y'all they don't sell for 12 dollars i just didn't want the ace beauty palettes i don't i don't really need them yeah that would have been like unnecessary for me I got so many little palettes like that with the same color. Now you watch when the January box come in and I have my lip longer than a Mississippi mile because I didn't get one. These some good shadows. I like them. 
I really, really do. Kind of want that a little bit darker. Even though it's dark, it's not as dark as I want it. I want it a little bit darker. Clean my brush off again. So I can just blend those colors all together. Uh, together make it look kind of professionalism <laughs> okay I want me um, I don't know what I want to do for my brow bone highlight so I think I guess I need to decide what I want to do for my lid color really Hmm. I like this silver here. Gotta keep in mind. And I'm thinking I got a Christmassy looking look. Something for the holidays is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna really try and cut my crease. Cause I want it to be really Christmassy looking. So don't y'all judge. I'm just trying this. Now I gotta hold my head back to get them hoods to rest. I'm gonna just do a half cut so my hoods don't hide. Just high enough. Gotta come a little bit higher than that, buddy. I'm going to try to keep my eye open so I don't get any creases in it. I mean, closed. Pat that out. Go back in with that dark burgundy. Okay, let me do my other eye while that's drying. Keep the creases out. We'll be doing good. I know the shade that I want to try and start with. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to use this shade right here. And it says beauty. Put it right here on the outside. Oh, that's pretty. Do the same to the other eye. It's really, really hard for me. I don't know about anybody else, but for me to get this cut crease look to be just right on my eyes without getting wrinkles and folds because of the hood, you know? Okay. Let me clean this brush off. I'm really going to be dramatic with this look, y'all. Really, really dramatic. Because this silver right here is calling me that is uh fairies yeah fairies is what it's called and i'm gonna use that for the inner lid color oh that's pretty that's pretty I 
It's not as silver as I thought it would be, which is good. But that's pretty. I don't know if I like that silver. It's just a little bit too light. A little bit too light. I think I'm going to go on top of that silver with Kiss. I think Kiss would look better. I'm just playing around, y'all. Yeah. This is a good palette. It's really good. Yeah, Kiss is looking better. The silver was, it just wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't bringing the bling. And then it was just kind of sitting there, so. Maybe I'll just use it as an inner color highlight. I kind of like that little bit of silver that you can see. Just barely. Maybe that's what I should do. I'm just sticking my finger in that silver because I kind of like that little bit, just a little bit, not a lot of it, but just a little bit. Yeah, that's the best as I'm gonna get with these hooded eyes because I got so many wrinkles forming here on my eyes. Do something else. I need some more color here. I'm, I want some blue. I know, right? I'm going to go with this blue. This is just out of the BH Cosmetics um, Desert Oasis palette. I'm probably going to mess up something right now. But yeah, I just don't want all red. I want a little something different. And that silver wasn't giving me what I wanted. I want to add some, some something that I don't need. I just don't want all red. That's what I want. Okay. Okay. Now I need to find me a brow bone highlight and I will be done. Done, done, done. I think I'm going to use this enchanted shade just because I got so much glitter going on. I want to keep it going on. This is just a Natasha Denona uh, Pro Pencil Brush. I'm just going to put that right there. There we go. I'll take my little, I'm done with this. I'm going to take my little blending brush once I find it. Make sure I get all the product out of it. I can sweat it. lips getting red. Y'all see that? Hmm. This might be a good bone that lasts all day. I'm just working that out. For foundation, let me tell you, I'm going to be using this. I have never used this Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Let me tell you a story behind how I ended up with this foundation. You're watching Brandy Gigs here on YouTube. Y'all, a lot of y'all, if you don't know, you need to check her out. She got some great hauls. She spent more money almost on makeup as I do. True makeup junkie, for real. <laughs> but anyway, she was doing a haul on the NYX blushes. Sent me to get one blush that she was looking that she had showed and i ended up getting three in this foundation and i picked up this maybelline uh liner it's just in black i saw it but i was going actually for these blushes but we'll talk about them later but this foundation some people like it i hear some people don't so we're gonna see because i'm fixed to try it for the very first time mine is in the color Oh, warm mahogany. I'm so slow. Mine's in the shade warm mahogany. So I'm just going to patch this on. I didn't even color correct. And I want to give this foundation a fair shot. So with all my spots and dots, I'm going to have to go in here. Where is my color correct? That's the good thing about it. I can mix the two. Yeah. This here is a good old, old school. Only different is y'all got some clarity. Y'all got some clarity in the video. You can actually see me mess up. You know them old videos, you can barely even see the person, but you can kind of imagine what it would really look like. Yeah. <laughs> this brush is not dirty. I washed it a hundred times. It's just time for me to throw it away. <laughs> it's 
time be thrown away. This could be the last time I use. I'm gonna throw it away after this. I am for real, for real. <laughs> it's going straight in the trash. I watched it last night. No, guy came in here, yeah. I was like, okay, it ain't gonna get clean. But you know when you have a good brush, because I got this little sponge here. This another need to throw away, which I can't. I love it's eco tools. I'm gonna go to Ulta when I get done doing my face and get me a few of these because these are my favorite brushes. I mean sponges, these eco tools for putting that powder under my eyes. And then I got this. I got a few brushes. I mean sponges sitting right here in front of me. I really do, but I like this one. But okay, I'm gonna let it go. Okay, I like this foundation. I like this foundation. This gonna have to go into my every routine, my everyday routine, because um, let me tell you why. I don't feel no oil. It just and it don't feel matte, but I don't feel no oil. I forgot to use this primer. I was trying to use this up, but maybe that'll be in the next video. Let me see which concealer. I really want to use this Giorgio my Armani up. And this Kylie Cosmetics, I want to use it up because, let me show y'all. See how pink that is? Versus being brown. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but in real life, it's pink. It's not a brand. Okay, guys, I have on my lashes, and they're cute. Now, let's see which one of these. Oh, for lashes, y'all, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's in a pack like these. But they don't say Ardell. They don't say anything. I'm going to have to go back and watch my videos and see what that was. This is one of the... What is this? I'm trying to see what shade this is. This is in Big. These are three blushes that I got by NYX. Thanks to Brandy Geeks again. <laughs> and this one is in... Uh, red hot oh I think this is the one I like that's like my shade that is can y'all see that come on here that's red hot and this one is in uh oh bang bang I think this is the one that she reviewed so it's definitely gonna be okay this is bang bang let me open it up that's bang bang And this is red hot. It's going to be red hot for me. It's going to be red hot. I know it because I love this color. Y'all know I've been using that other. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I can get into it. Yes, red hot. And bang, bang. Red, red hot. Oh, I just did it this. And this other one, y'all, I didn't even. <laughs> oh, my God. It broke. Oh. So, anyway, we're going with red hot. I like red hot. Oh, it's a little bit of glitter in there. It's a little bit of glitter. Yeah, I'm going to repress that other one. I like how smooth these are. Ooh, girl, that's too much. That's too much. You got to bring that down, mama. Bring it down. <laughs> yes it's got a little shimmer in it too i like that last thing in here that i want to use is this ciate london's highlighter and i did contact them y'all and they are going to send me something else so i'm happy put this right here right here right here i'm gonna be like a glow torch not a blow torch a glow torch Cause this stuff is real. Okay. I'm like a glow torch for real. Ooh, I didn't mean to do all that, but I did. Let me wipe this off. Okay, this might work. This just might work. Let me pull out my gloss. I want to try the Too Faced Melted Metallic. So I'm hoping that this will work. I've also picked up from that um, drugstore haul. 
I think it was Walgreens or Walmart. I got all this, uh, the blushes and stuff. I also picked up two NYX pencils. One is in um, Brooklyn Throne. That's this one. Looks like that. That's a pretty nice dark. That's Brooklyn Throne. And the other one here is in uh, Club Hopper. I hate when they put these little things on here, but I know I want them on there because other people be swatching and touching on them. Oh, Club Hopper is a real pretty dark dark. That's Club Hopper right there. And then that's Brooklyn Throne right there. I think I like Club Hopper the best. Line lips. I just cannot believe it just blows my mind. That uh, I went all out the line trying to talk. That people nowadays are paying for these big soup coolers. That's <laughs> what they used to in school. You got them big bubble lips, them soup coolers, them, them, your big tail lips, self. Now look at you running around paying for these big ass lips. <laughs> okay, which color am I going? Okay, I'm going to use this melted. It was melted. Matte palette. That's what I got. A melted matte palette. That's why it wasn't so greasy. I mean, so super shimmery when I put it on my arm. So I was definitely wanting to use this today. And it's still not. You know that metallic look. I like that. But me being a um, gloss girl, I'm going to let it dry. and see. So, let me go put on some hair and we can end this video, y'all. Because it's super long. Super long. Okay, y'all see how this lipstick, this is why I didn't like these. This color is good. But you see the lines? Yeah, that's how it gets. And that's why I don't, I don't care for those Too Faced Melted lipsticks. But I'm going to go in and put my Fenty Gloss on top. Because I'm a gloss girl anyway. So you put that gloss in there and it'll take that. It's too much of whatever they use to make it matte in there and it just mess up. The lipstick just don't, it don't feel right. It's not comfortable. It get cakey, pilly. I don't like it. But put a little gloss on top of them, girl. And they on the point. They on the point. Okay, y'all, this is the, I'm done with this look. I'm going to go put on me some clothes, do the intro, and I'm going to get out the door. Y'all stay blessed. I'm here. Everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.